Hi everyone, welcome to the morning edition of Tea Time where we bring you the best in the world of entertainment. This morning is going to be an interview with an actor and we'll be telling you who that is soon enough. I'm Tukumbo Taiwe and I'm here with the two Ifes, or shall I say Ife Square, or, or more appropriately Ife Oshunkeye and Ife Omai. Hi guys. It's appropriate enough to say Ife Square. I know, right? Square. Very appropriate. Yeah. Okay, because I was thinking perhaps one person might not be, might think that it's political incorrect to actually say if fair square well if fair we always agree to disagree that's why she's my G if you like um, way to go way to go <laughs> yeah. if fair square all right so um should we just go straight into it because i'm like should we mm, do let's some let's introduce our guest don't you think yes let's okay. introduce our guest yes yeah okay so um time to introduce our studio guest uh give you a quick glimpse uh, into his life so as mentioned earlier, he's an actor, he's a fitness trainer uh, to friends and celebrities alike. And his latest work is a Nollywood movie which features uh, Teddy A and Inkechi Blessing. The movie is titled On Sane and is due out anytime soon. He is also a social motivational speaker, brand influencer, socialite, and is oftentimes referred to as the number one lucky realtor. Uh, with over 11,000 followers on Instagram, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce Introduce Mayowa Olubemi, aka Mayuzi. Welcome Mayuzi. to the show. Mayuzi. Yeah. Is it Mayuzi or Mayuzi? Mayuzi. Mayuzi. Potato, potato. 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 Okay. <laughs> because I was going to do the, uh, I was like, okay, I'm not sure now if it's in, along the lines of, you know, May or Kun and everything. So I was like, okay, I'm not too sure, but good to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank okay. You. So I think some people call you May or Kun as well, right? Um, just very, very few. Very what would you prefer to be called? Mayowa or Mayo or okay. Mayuzi, anyone. Okay. okay. Great. Where do we start? Because you're a man of many talents. You do fitness, you do reality, re, you know, uh, real, real estate, yeah. you know, you do acting. So I don't even know where to start with you. Um, should we even, let's where start would with you like background. to start? Let's yes. ask him. Where would you like to start? Would you like to start with the acting or the real estate How would you business? Describe yourself or, or, yeah. What would you describe yourself as? Okay. Who is Mayuzi? Thank you. Thank you. Mayuzi, the name behind Mayuzi is Maya Olubemi. I'm a real estate consultant, I'm a realtor. That is my number one also, you hear okay. me? I've been doing that now for two years and it's been really good. I've, I've helped a lot of people in and Lagos. And you made too much money as well. In Lagos, even outside Nigeria to invest and I've made so much money, yeah, I can't lie. <laughs> oh yeah, I thought you were going to be coy. <laughs> no, 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 now no. we know. No. I've, I've, made, I've made so much money. I've invested with myself too, mm -hmm. you know. So right now I'm trying to set up my own company properly. Yeah. Mm. So instead of just marketing for other real estate firms, mm -hmm. now I have all those marketers to come market for me as, mm. well. as well. So I'm trying to acquire my own estate, mm -hmm. brand it up, and then... Yeah. So Sell your estate will have like how many properties? Like 50, 100? Uh, I'm trying to acquire about 50 acres he of land. Acres? Oh, yeah. wow. Okay, I thought you were going to say hectares there for no. a moment. Uh, oh. for, for a startup, 50 <laughs> acres, acres is a lot. Is a because, lot. Yeah. Okay. because one acre is six plots of land. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, so let's say six times 50. Mm -hmm. that's, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, before that's we move on to other things, let me just, for the sake of our viewers, like yeah. people who want to get into the industry, because you know it's capital intensive, how would you suggest or what are the tips that you give to them to get into the industry? Um, to, to be honest with you, real estate, you actually don't really need capital. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't start with a dime, mm -hmm. but today I'm earning a lot. You get me? I, you just need to know people. You have to be a networker. You have to, be, mm -hmm. you have, to have great people skills. You, know? you, have to, you have to move with people that you know they can patronize you. Mm -hmm. You get me? Then talk to them about investing to realize you have to be a marketer like 24 7. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you have to look good you have to smell good you have to make them see that you are not hungry when you, they tell you, you just, so nice, don't you just feel like yeah, that yeah no 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 no, <laughs> no. It when, get the, when yeah. you when you when you use good perfumes mm -hmm. like he had a lot of attraction to you. Mm -hmm. You get me? Yeah. So you have to make yourself well presented in front of people because we are not talking about thousands, we are talking about millions. Mm -hmm. So try to so get to look the part. Yeah, yeah, you have to look like a millionaire. You get me? Wow. Would you say there's anyone sorry? Okay, you yeah, want, go on. Do you, do you want to do, um, would you say there's anyone who walked you through that or was just was that completely self made? Um not self made. Quickly when I finished NYC year two thousand and sixteen. So January twenty seventeen I was ready for work and then Work wasn't coming coming up quick, mm. so 
you know, when you're high, you tend to be going online. So yeah. I stumbled across this um, real estate advert on Instagram, and then I contacted the person behind the advert, of which that person is my boss today, Mr. Hazan Ismail. Yeah, so he was the one that put me through. Okay. He didn't collect the dime from me, mm -hmm. and we met online on Instagram. Wow. Just okay. Instagram, and okay. then today, I've helped him make a lot of money too. Okay. Yeah, so right. it's Let's always good. I, I picked on on the fact that you said um, you need to be in certain places to be able to make um, your uh, to be able to meet your contacts yeah, and your meet prospect. investors and all of that. So, what are some of those places you think that people that want to get into the business should go to to get proper investors? First of all, if you stay on the island is a great advantage for you because. Mm. A lot of rich oh, people. Oh, getting me land now. No, no, no. It's like but, No, 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 bro. No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong. A lot of very rich people stay on the island. Yeah. yeah. You agree with me? Yeah. Right? Definitely. So just go to places where you know you can meet them. Go out to chill, maybe lounge, mm. go to the gym. Gym is one number one hotspot for me. And, uh. and, you know, I'm having fun building my body and also doing my business. So. Speaking of body, so is yeah. that your motivation to go into the screen? Like... Um, I've always wanted to have this great, sexy body. Like, when I go out, I always, since I was in secondary school, I always loved to exercise a lot, do push-ups, you know. I want to be the, the guy that everyone say, oh, he has, he has six packs, oh, he has muscles, you know, <laughs> that kind of person. So, so I realized, okay, fine, I can't just be doing only real estate. Mm -hmm. So I have to add something else to it. So why don't I just keep working out and then probably be a fitness trainer and mm -hmm. look good? Mm -hmm. you so know? would you say you have achieved your goal? In beauty, my body. Yeah. Oh God! If you see my previous picture, eh? <laughs> and you see my picture right now, then you can tell the mm. difference. And I've are, you, a lot. are you um, comfortable where you are, or you feel you can still do more? No, I'm comfortable where I am, and I don't mind doing more. Oh, okay. So I, me, yeah. I was I was actually asking, was your desire to have a sexy body, like the words you use, yeah. was that your reason to go into the big screen, like movies and stuff? Like I have a good body, so like you know people should want to see this. No, no I, I, that is not like the major reason, but I just see that as as a huge advantage because when you have good body, then you tend to have more confidence. Uh, you get mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Also, not only acting, also in modeling. Mm. You get me? So I just see that as an advantage, and of course, I'm a go getter. So I just. So, speaking on those two careers, what has been the biggest move for you so far in the modeling um, career and in the acting career? You know what? Hold that thought. Let's go on a quick break. When okay. we come back, <laughs> uh, he'll be able to answer that question. I know you've right. been saved by the bell because, like, you didn't <laughs> want to get there. All right, we'll continue this conversation with upcoming Nollywood actor Mayo Wa Ulubemi, aka Meyuzi. We'll be right back. We do not understand we will stigmatize. What you can see is the remaining of the tanker that exploded. The suffered equally confessed. Ah! A 500 naira they collect them. With no talk, they will beat you. Now you do the five and they pay. Welcome back. You're watching Tea Time right here on Plus TV Africa. If you're just joining us, we're chatting to Nollywood actor Mayowa Ulubemi, a.k.a. Miyuzi. Uh, before the break, if I asked, her, uh, asked him a question, mm -hmm. so yeah. maybe you should repeat that question. Yeah, so we were, we were just talking about his um, fitness and how he has, you know, really maximized on his body. So I was asking, like, um, and then he mentioned that he's, that has given him the pathway into modeling and acting. And so what confidence. is your biggest move so far um, in those two careers? So far, I will speak about acting. So far, I, I did a movie recently with... It was produced by Nkechi Blessing Sunday. I'm sure you know her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was me, uh, Teddy A, and some other people. And I only did one scene there. I know people are expecting a lot, mm -hmm. but I did one scene there, and that scene is really, really amazing. It's funny. Mm -hmm. And I was a fitness trainer. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
You get me? I was a fitness trainer. I was, I was training her even right in front of her husband. Her husband was, he's not a sharp person. Okay. So her husband was still asking me, oh, I should do it well. He was still telling me, oh, do it well, hold that very well, and all of that. You know, it's going to be a very, very funny yeah, scene. Grabbing. And I was grabbing, I was really <laughs> exercising, <laughs> the lesson, you know, you know, so, so, I mean, that, that, that helped me. And mm -hmm. also, that's where I met Teddy, and then, okay. you know, we became but Jesus. before you okay. did this, um, uh, a movie you knew in Kichi Blessing beforehand. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. She was my friend. All right, so okay, she's still about... your friend. She's still my friend. Because I, is there something going on between the two of you? Because I know you guys take a lot of pictures, you know, on social media. <laughs> okay. Are you blushing? No, 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 no. There's nothing going nothing on. Nothing going on. I just no very strings good attached. Friends. No strings attached. No strings attached like a cardless phone. The only thing attached is business and mm. friendship. Are you yeah. sure? Yeah, true. Is she one of your real estate? Um, um, what do they call it? Clients. Clients. No. Okay, she has no book property for me yet. Okay. But, but, no, I mean for herself. If she's buying some for herself. Well, not, 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 not through me, but, okay. Okay. but I believe she will sometimes. sometimes. So. All right, yeah. so let's okay. talk about your celebrity friends. Because apart from the fact that you're a fitness trainer, you're a realtor, you're also into the movie industry, yeah. Yeah. you are um, also well connected to a lot of celebrities. Like you said, you met her the on set. I yeah. know you're very cool with Bam Bam as well. Yeah. I know you're cool with... Um, Dominant. Yeah. So I'm not going to just focus on Teddy A, Bam Bam, Teddy A and Bam Bam, they've been on the set, so we know mm -hmm. them quite well. Yeah. But Kid Dominant now has produced a lot of songs for David Doe. And there's this new video yeah. of Whiskey, David Doe, Drama, Shita, Shoki, oh, yeah. Odo. Did you see that? <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay, so being um, a Kid Dominant friend yeah. and knowing the DMW clan, yeah. Do you think that should have been approved? Like, even though somebody was um, attacking Whiskey, yeah. yeah. Do you think Whiskey's team should have gone against the David O's clan and all of all the David O's team or whatever, it's whatever the drama? It's the gang. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So, do you think the gang should have gone all out like that? Yeah. Well, as for me, I don't think it should have been a gang thing. I don't mm. think mm. the gang should have should have gone after that because. But the thing is, you see, these people are two separate people doing well in their own field. Uh, yeah. They don't have time. They are busy making money, but they cause a lot of controversy amongst people. Uh, even if, even when they don't, like, they don't plan having any issue with each other, bloggers always make, make it worse for them. Then they start posting stuff about whiskey against David o, start posting stuff about David o against whiskey, and then before you know it, it gets to them quickly. And then they start, you know, they start. Now is that but I don't think your career in the Nollywood industry and your fitness, you know, your all your industries. How do you yeah. think the fake love has affected you? Well, okay, okay. The your fake love thing. I'm not a fake person, and I don't do. I don't post. Should you be telling us that, or we should be telling you? <laughs> I, I'm telling you, and you can find out. I'm not a fake person, you know. I'm a real person. I stand for for being real with people and all of that. So, and I'm, being real these days is very, very scarce. Mm. If you agree with me, a lot of sure, fake people are sure, out there, you get sure. me? So, when all these my celebrity friends, they, when we, I mean, when we go out, when we chill together, we do all that, they see that, okay, fine, this guy is good, this guy is real. And when people recognize your value, they don't want you to go, they don't want mm. to let go of you. Instead, they start getting closer to you. So I think them getting closer, closer to me as actually, Help me, like they give, they connect me easily to stuff. Mm. What they won't just do for other people, they just come in me easy. Oh my, oh, I have this. Oh, will you come with me to so-so place? Oh, can we go to? You know, you know, because they see this guy. This guy is a good guy. This guy got great value, got group. So, so I mean, being fake has helped me because me, I stand for being real. Mm. So it has pushed me outside there to be very, very significant. Yeah. Okay. So how would you define realness? Oh. <laughs> I would like to find realness is you just being you. Mm. Mm. Just just be good and be you to people, you know. Just be good and be you, be nice. Okay, all right. So yeah. let me quickly go to your, a bit, uh, just a little bit about your background, you know, because yeah. you say being real. And I just think if we, like, tap into your background a bit, yeah. then we probably can see the real you. Because okay. I know growing up, you grew, grew up without a mother. So how was the experience yeah. and how difficult was it for you? Well, growing up, I lost my mom when I was five years old. Yeah, growing up without her, I was, you know, five, I was still small. Mm. Growing up without a mother was, was crazy. Like, like every, most people that should have 
been there to cover up her space. Mm -hmm. During the period she died, I was young, but I was still very, very smart. Mm -hmm. During the period she died, there were a lot of promises, oh, I'll be there for you, you know? Now you're a baby now, oh, my, I told you hey, I'll be there for you, don't worry, call me if you need anything. They disappointed you? Ah, bro, bro, like 90% disappointed me. Oh. You get me? So about 90% disappointed, I can't lie. Mm -hmm. But all that made me stronger. Okay. Mm -hmm. All that all made right. me stronger, yeah. Okay, let's go on another break. When we come back, hopefully we'll ask you some more questions. It yeah. will be time to sort of carry on chatting to the emerging Nollywood actor, or shall I say, Lekki's number one realtor, Mayowa Ulubemi, sure. a.k.a. Meyuzi. We'll be right back. That money will shoot oh, every person that we know can shoot. We don't let people die there. You could have killed us for a long period of time. That time, why I carry Gloria? I first go out to force, but it didn't have no go. Now I come make that mama. She just pulled it, he pointed, and Anyone shot. What is the soul of a man? They suffer too much. They suffer too much. Issues around the Nigerian police. We have to tackle it holistically. Back. It's still tea time right here on Plus TV Africa, and we're swiftly moving on in our conversation uh, with Nollywood actor and fitness trainer Mayowa Ulu. Oh, Mayowa, sorry, <laughs> Mayowa Ulu Bimi. All right, so who wants to go next? I want to. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then we keep doing okay. that. Yeah, you go, no, you go. No, no, you. no, no you go. No, ladies first. You so know, I'm a typical <laughs> gentleman. Um, I wanted to talk more about the movie um, mm -hmm. that you made. If you can just give us a, a glimpse of what that's about, um, so who I'm your sorry. character was, just a a glimpse okay. into that way the, we can see it as well. Yeah, the movie is just about okay. There's um, it's about a couple, husband and wife, and then the husband is not so sharp. The husband is like, if you permit me to use the word, the husband is like a mumu, a bolo, a bolo. He's not, he's not there. He's not, he's not sharp. He's slow. You get me? And then the wife is the opposite. The wife is very, very sharp. You get me? So the wife, the wife has. It has another boy outside, another mm. guy outside. That was That's steady. That's That oh. was steady. That yeah. was steady. Okay, so you were number two. Yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> not like I was number actually. two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, you know, the other, the other one was just there doing his own thing, but the wife was having fun, you know, enjoying her life, and then, and then the husband was just very, very mumu. Mm. Was know. he rich, wealthy? Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah, yeah, was back. okay. He was comfortable. Okay. Describe was that rich. as how lucky women are. Lucky wives club. Okay. What about the <laughs> men? Are they also like that? The no, groups? let's talk uh, about the women first. Oh, okay. <laughs> we no. know about the men. That's how they are. No, men are relaxed. Men are mumu. No, 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 I can go after younger no. men. I'm not asking about <laughs> lucky women now. Do you think lucky women go after younger boys? The term lucky women is actually funny to me, boy. Uh, but women in lucky. <laughs> <laughs> it's not lucky women, women in lucky. <laughs> but but, but I, I don't see people's marriages like that. I don't, because guys are sharp too. Have you ever dated Guys are even doing I mean, Have guys you ever dated a married woman? No, no, never. Are you dating? Nah, I'm It's just time to market yourself for the... I know, I'm actually single. I'm actually yeah, single. single. I'm single, I'm single bro. Not like single, night, as in like single, single. Not I am girl. single. Yeah. I don't no have side checks, nothing. Nah, I'm just, I'm just me, myself, doing good, pushing my career, pushing mm. myself, you know. Do you want that um, to stay like that for a while so you can focus? Or are you hoping... To, to find someone right um, no 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 I don't I don't want to stay like that for a, for a long while because you know sometimes you just you actually get lonely sometimes yeah. to be honest you know so I think it's about time if I find I'm not in the east mm -hmm. but if I find a very, very good woman for myself mm -hmm. I'll uh, I think it. this is the time to market my brother if you want to reach out to him there is zero three <laughs> 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 yeah. Right, so uh, I think uh, let's talk about your fitness. You can't leave this table without telling us some fitness tips. Come on, you're looking good. See me. Flabby stomach coming out small, small. And is so, it your, your focus is men? 
Or do you train women as well? Oh, I train. No, no, no. I can't so what are the, I can't like, be training any men. There was time I was training Bam Bam, you know. Yeah. Yeah. There was time I was Did you to... was Teddy Mumutu? <laughs> ah, God forbid. <laughs> No, 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 no. Those are my jeans. Oh Teddy J is, Teddy is my brother. Bam Bam is my sister, you okay. know. So those you're training her like a sister. Those are my... There's a time I was training Teddy too. Mm. Okay, I don't yeah. want to ask you how you're holding Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what? Just give us... Okay, for those of us that have to wake up in the morning, come to work, and we don't have the time to go to the gym, yeah. what are, like, give us like five tips. fitness tips that we can actually do in our room and keep fit every day. Okay, but the thing is, a lot of people on a lot of people in Lagos drive. If mm. not, I would have said, okay, if 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 you use transport station before you get to your office, you should just work. Mm. Like do I five minutes. Sweating, I'm smelling inside. Five minutes walk to your office. Mm. Five minutes walk. Five minutes walk. It's not. It's not bad. Yeah. Okay. Five minutes walk to your office. Mm -hmm. And then all the old run around you're doing in your office. That one is cardio already. Yeah. Mm. Okay. To be honest with you, that one is cardio already. Then after office, maybe another five minutes walk to, mm. you know, but everyone is driving. But if you are driving in Lagos, Lagos traffic is enough cargo. Is enough cargo. <laughs> I'm glad you say that because Lagos, some people will be relieved. That is why you can't just see people, people in Lagos fat anyhow, like, mm. like, like in America or in UK. Yeah, because yeah. the stress we are going through will not just make you to be fat in here. So do you okay. emphasize more so, on the diet or the physical Because side I was going to go there as yeah. well. Right? Because I, I know was going to talk a, about the food. There's a huge, in, why not, we're in a what time, time where everybody is watching eating? what they eat and like, you know, something is bad and what all that stuff. Okay, so wait, wait, before he answers that question, yesterday I was watching a story and he was looking for suya at 12 midnight. <laughs> <laughs> so, as a fitness trainer, should you be eating at that time? See, <laughs> see, let me, let me tell you, yeah. Like, there's a... I can't kill myself. Mm. Let me put it that way. I'm a fitness trainer, but I don't diet that much. Mm. Okay. I'm not the type of fitness trainer that, that will starve himself mm -hmm. or will just be and eating vegetables. And is that because you know you will burn them? Because burn the I know the next day I will burn away those calories. calories. I go okay. to the gym five times a week, Monday okay. to Friday. Wow. Saturday, Sunday, I rest. Okay. You get me? So I eat any hour. Okay. I will not lie to you. Mm. But, but as for you, like, you know, if I... <laughs> what do you mean? Look at me. What do you I mean? mean? Be careful. Like, Come on, like, man. Look at this, like, bro. Like you, right? You are not so big. You have a great body already. Oh, Trust yeah. me. You have okay. a great oh, body. Okay. 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 What, what you need, mm -hmm. what you need is cardio. You need to shred. Yeah. Mm. You have fat in your tummy. Belly fat. Ah. Yeah. You need. To, Can you just give me compliment and end it? The <laughs> oh, no, I don't. I don't you drink alcohol, shred. man. If you can, if and you drink can, responsibly if you have to drink. Mm. Of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. If you can take like two, three days in a week to mm -hmm. jog from Lekki, Ikoi Bridge. He yeah. does that now. But don't yeah, you do that I once in a while? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. once yeah, a month. Take it serious. Take, you, take, I, I take it very seriously. I still bro. wear running. The do it like three times a week. Three mm -hmm. times a week. Because you might not have time to come to the gym. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do it like three times a week. Mm -hmm. When you see result, then try and register for gym. So do you think that that's a lucrative thing? I know you are making money from your retailing, but is Planet Fitness... Um, well, planning somebody's fitness in Nigeria, is that also a lucrative business? Yeah, it's becoming lucrative because... Because fitness is being introduced into Nigeria right now, like it's trending right now. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to keep the fit. There are a lot of gyms opening everywhere. You get mm -hmm. me? So it's becoming very, very lucrative. It's just so, that there's not so much money in it yet, like mm -hmm. a, like abroad. But but over time, mm -hmm. it's so do you charge lucrative. each person that wants some kind of fitness um, help? Um, for my friends, I actually don't charge. Okay. Mm -hmm. For anyone you don't know. For anyone that wants to come with me, oh, I want you to train me and all that. Mm -hmm. So now as you know us now, it's for free it's as well. It's free, right? <laughs> my G. We're coming. We're coming. We're coming. We'll talk about that. We'll, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. <laughs> But, but of course, I, I, I will collect money from outsiders. All right, so for real now, if you have to choose one, being a real estate agent, acting, and being a fitness trainer, what would it be? Mm. Um, I'm not this type of person that I usually, that I don't really no, have one stream, one. No, one stream of income. You know, I have to choose, have to choose two. One. <laughs> okay, two. All right, I have fine. to choose Fair two. enough, two. That would, be, that would be real estate agent and acting. Okay. But you don't think that the two might clash each other? Like, if you start to um, yeah, go into I, yeah, acting? Yeah, yeah, good question. Because you, you mentioned earlier the whole reputation thing. And I know sometimes business people don't really like to get their their stuff out there. And if you become a, a familiar face, like a TV face, don't you think that that might clash no, with your... your 
Good question. I've, um, I've actually pushed my real estate career mm -hmm. to the point whereby I have people under me. Mm. Yeah, about mm. 11 or 12. I, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, good. I have about, about, even more than, about 15, 18 people under me. Okay. You get me? And I have a very, very close guy that I can actually call my PA. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I might be home. I don't even need to step out. I just need to say, okay, mm. you need to be here. You need to take this client mm. on social inspection. I've already spoken to them and connect them again. So, mm. so I have people in line to cover up for me. Yeah. Okay. And then if I get popular through acting, and then that will actually help my, re yes, <coughs> my real yeah. estate work. Because mm -hmm. then people, you people want to see me. One people want to see me. People want to meet me in person. Mm. And then also, people will have this, this certain trust for me because yeah. they know, okay, yeah. I won't yeah. try to mess up because I'm yeah. a public figure. Yeah. Yeah. So they know whatever I'm doing is genuine. Because we'll be if it's not genuine, mm -hmm. they will mess me up Absolutely. everywhere. Mm. Absolutely. Before you know, I'm on Insta blog. All right, yeah. so yeah. I think yeah. that's where we're going to wrap, wrap up, up, unless yeah. you guys have final questions. Um, big shout out to me, Easy. So if I'm looking Thank for so a property, um, like um, how much income should I have? Like even if I can't pay upfront the total bill, but I want to buy a house somewhere in, in Lekki, since you are the number one real estate agent mm. in Lekki. So give us a figure that we could start with. Okay, for a figure uh, to buy a house in Lekki, let's say around Chevron to Conservation Center area, mm -hmm. at least. To buy to buy a terrace duplex, let's say a four bedroom terrace duplex, mm -hmm. you have to have at least about forty million naira. Wow. Okay, so wow. how much do I have to pay upfront? Because I know they are deals. So forty million is not the actual price of the. Forty price. million, that's yeah, the price. yeah, that is the price. Yeah, that's the that's price. price. But how much do I yeah, have to right. drop? like upfront right payment. Um, actually, it depends on the developer. Mm -hmm. Some developer will tell you, okay, I can do one year instrumental payment. Mm -hmm. Some will tell you I can do three years. So mm -hmm. is this yeah. such a thing that you can pay All rent right, to own? Yeah, 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 yeah. Some, so if it's it a depends. secondary sale, mm -hmm. it depends if someone bought and they yeah. want to resell. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Unfortunately, that's where we're going to wrap up right here, right now on Tea Time. We're back this afternoon, though, with a brand new episode of the program. Until then, a big thank you to my co anchors, Ife Oshunkeye, Ife Omai, the entire production team, as well as our guest on the program, Mayowa Ulubemi. Thank you very much for coming thank on. Thank you, the guys. Show. I appreciate right. you guys. Thank you. I am Tukumbo Taiwe saying thanks for watching and from all of us here, have yourself a good morning.